What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with Tales of the Rays, this time the global version, or worldwide, whatever you want to call it. And this video will be breaking down which characters you should use for the farming stages for the Tales of Berseria event, aka the Aizen and Lafayette event. So first, let's go over to the summon page and look at what characters, because I've always it'll be the characters that are on the banner that give you the most. So as you can see here, here I'll open this up. The, for the Mirage Arts are the characters that are going to give you the most. So we've obviously got Aizen, Lafayette, Velvet, and then we've got Edna and Miklio. You can pull all of their stuff here. I believe those are the only five. Yep. So obviously these are five characters you want to use. Obviously, regardless if you pull their mirror, their Rainbow Mirage Art, use Aizen and Lafayette on your team because. And we'll go ahead and hop over to the actual event, the actual event, so I can explain to you why tales of the rays loading screens okay so obviously as you can see i've got everything completed i have not attempted the 40 ap stage yet but i've been farming the 25 one so over here you see where i'm tapping we've got two different kinds of currency so we've got the regular nordals and we've got the group of nordals so for example let's say we go to nordal recovery and you guys will see my team in just a second. So you can see here that you get about 50 for this Lofty set. You get 49 for this, 36 for this Aizen. And then you've got Mikleo and Edna's that only give you the regular Nordals, but they still give you the same number. Those are obviously the characters you want to use. You know, if you were to use a character like Ix, you would just get 10. Um, you will find some Mikleos that may give some of the other currency. They may give a little bit of both, but for the most part, the friend one you're going to want to go with is find yourself an Aizen or a set rainbow. So this is the team I was going with for right now. If we click view, you can see what currency they give. Yes, set and Aizen for me don't really give that much for two reasons. One, they're still, you know, in their high 30s in terms of levels. And two, I don't have either of their Rainbow Mirage Arts, but it's still to get those extra multiple Nordals if you can help it. I was using Saray. I actually didn't look at the banner. I thought Saray would have been in the banner. But since he's a Rainbow, he still gives a decent amount of regular Nordals. But let's see, for example, if I were to switch him with Edna. Because Edna's actually on the banner, so she may give a little bit more. There's Edna... So, 22. So she gives lower than Saray. So she's not ideal. So, more or less, it's going to come down to who you have and who's best. I mean, obviously, I could use my X. Let's see how much he gives. He gives 49. So he, he actually gives more than Saray. So he'd be helpful. But at the same time, he only gets the 1.5 times power increase. So my power level is down to 15,000 because I'm not using Saray. So... Instead of just sacrificing power for three Nordals, I'd much rather just go with somebody who's going to give me that extra power boost. Or five Nordals. So now I'm back up to 17,490. Obviously, there's no right or wrong way to do this. It just comes down to what characters you have, what weapons they have equipped, and what mirror arts they have. A lot of it also comes down to, obviously, you may be asking, why would one Mikleo friend person give extra Nordals and why the other one wouldn't if they're the same level. And that also comes down to weapons. If if your character has weapons from this specific event banner, those weapons are going to give a much bigger boost than weapons that are from the past. So like for example, I'm Velvet has new weapons on this banner that didn't exist when her banner first came out. If you use the weapons for Velvet that are from this banner, on your Velvet, you're going to get more of a boost. Same thing with Mikleo, same thing with Edna, Eisenloff. Well, Eisenloff, you said they're brand new regardless, so that wouldn't even matter. But that's more or less what it comes down to when you're setting up your character. You want to use the weapons that are going to give you the most. I don't think I can look here to view what they give. Yeah, no. Um, it doesn't seem like you can. Which is unfortunate, but that's not a huge deal. We don't need to know all of that stuff. And honestly, you could just go... If you didn't want to use Eisner Lafayette, like, let's say you're like me and you didn't pull either of their mirror shards, which is really disappointing, and you're like, 
well, yeah, they're giving the triple Nora dolls, but they're not really giving that much. You can go the alternate route where you just find two other characters that give a lot of the single Nora dolls. And then that way you're gathering much more single Nora dolls and then just converting them into the triple Nora dolls. Now, maybe you haven't played Tales of the Rays before and you have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to converting. Or maybe this is your first event you've ever done. You still don't know what converting is. I will show you real quick before we close out the video. Just to explain, maybe there's some new people watching. So, for example, we scroll all the way down here. Go all the way down. The whole point of a lot of these items to get them, you need the triple Nordal. So you can trade 100 regular Nordals for 30 of the triples. So it's a lot of farming, obviously. And there are certain items you can only get with one type of currency. Like, for example, what do we got? There were a lot of tickets. About half the tickets were with the single Nordals, while the rest were with the... So obviously you can see here, I can still get two 20,000 tickets with the single Nordals, and then I've still got three more tickets to get with the triple Nordals. I've already bought half the tickets. Still no Rainbow Mirror chart, but oh well. But that's pretty much what it comes down to. Most events have a double currency, at least up until... Around part when part two starts, how where we are in the Japanese version, they've kind of gone away from the double currency, and they have a single currency, and then they have a secondary currency that you can just randomly they'll drop during the uh, event when you're farming, and you can use that second currency for something specific like gold or shiro crystals, but you won't have to convert anything, which is kind of a good way to do it. But we've probably got about five or six events before we get to that point where they stop doing the double currency thing but that is pretty much it guys so in conclusion more or less you want to use if you pulled eisen or laffy sets rainbow mirage art obviously smack them on your team and then you're going to want to go with either mikleo edna or saray depending on what kind of points you're going to be getting for these nordals but anyways guys that's pretty much it post your comments down below if you have any questions hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel i'll see you all next time